think about text painting, I think about um, Sister Coretta Kent, who was actually, she, did, she worked in Syriograph, but she was really well known um, in the 60s for doing these political prints and paintings, and she was a teacher that was really influential. She was kind of, she was a Warhol contemporary. I mean, they weren't hanging out, but they were of the same era. And she just did, I, I would love to own one of these. I love her stuff. Um, and she incorporated, like, you know, politics and commercialism and Bible quotes and everything. And she she did very cool stuff. So I sent a documentary about her along, too. Uh, Cy Twombly uh, did a lot with, he would write poems, famous poems in his paintings um, to the point that you didn't know what they were. It wasn't like they were recognizable. Um, Magritte, he used text in his paintings often. Often, like, it was, he was kind of a surrealist, so that what the text was was not what the image was. So, um, David Shrigley is really, really well-known contemporary artist. He does very cool text. Um, again, this is all about color and composition and filling the space in an interesting way. And all the things you've already learned is just the addition of words, using words instead of an object. So, it's, it's, I, I like painting text. I think it's really fun. Um and you could do it with anything that matters to you or a quote or a word or whatever um yeah these are all still david shrigley he's i put a lot in here um and yeah and then christopher wool was um he does a lot of text um, Raymond Pettibone, who does a lot of ink drawings, did a big show recently, a big collection with um, Marcel Zarma. So these are with those two. Um, a lot of text just kind of inserted in places. Um, it was a very cool show at the new museum they had. Um, this is Nina Chanel Abney, and she uses text just like you would use an image. Uh, and it's political. And so you could play around with that a little bit. Um, very pop art and layered, and it would be a lot of fun to do that. Um, Barry McGee, who was kind of, I think started out as kind of a skateboard um, West Coast guy, um, but he shows a lot now and does a lot of text. And so uh, kind of more of a graphic painter is Andrew Brushler. Uh, I, I love his work. I think that he is a good thing to look at if you want to think about how you choose a word. It might be a simple word, but the way you paint it can give it a lot of um, power and and provoke things in the people viewing it. So it's the word yes, but it's a lot more. And then it's the word heaven, but the way he does it, it's a bad heaven. <laughs> so um, he's cool to look at. Um, William L. Hawkins is a folk painter, and his text usually is just repeated his name and his birth date, which is really beautiful in these paintings. Um, it, it's, oh, and he also writes other texts, but uh, Basquiat obviously was huge for including text. And again, he, because of, I guess, who he was and how he used it and his identity, you know, it was often pretty political, um, what he wrote in. So yeah, it's, text is really fun to play with. It's a really good way to test colors. And, and what you've learned about space. So if you feel like doing it, I think you should. Okay, bye.